we have this killer jewel tone design with pigments mixed into acrylic. First thing I need to show you guys how to do is actually take the emerald, apple, incredible green, and crushed pearl and create the perfect mix. You could take the same formula and apply it across the board to the three other colors I'm going to use. The first thing we're going to do is take our speed clear and mix in probably about a quarter inside the jar. I'm going to take the emerald and take basically a dash on my mixing spatula. I'm going to take the incredible green, apple, and crushed pearl to finalize the mix. We're going to cap it, roll it, Give it a few good shakes. Now remember guys, you wanna be able to leave a little bit of space in the jar so that you're gonna be able to disperse the pigment really, really well. And you will notice how we're actually going to be able to create that. What we've done is we've gone ahead, removed the shine from the natural nail, we've swiped it to basically clean and dehydrate and get ready for protein bond. We've applied two coats of protein bond and now we're getting ready to do the reverse application. I'm going to get a nice pearl of speed clear. I'm going to set it right to the cuticle area. Again, lightly pressing it flush around the cuticle area, allowing the pearl to run down towards the tip. I'm going to lightly juggle it back in order to get the perfect smile line. Once we've built the body, I want to be able to take a form we're going to place the form flush to the free edge, pucker and get ready for my free edge application. All of the colors are mixed with speed clear powder. I use the emerald pigment in the first color combination mixed with incredible green, apple, and crushed pearl. The second color combination is sapphire mixed with punk rock. The third color combination is amethyst mixed with Miona sky. And the final is gold, mixed with dark gold glitter and diamond dust. I'm going to begin by taking the sapphire mix and butting that right up to the smile. I'm going to take the emerald mix and work that to the opposite side. We're now going to take amethyst and set that to the tip and gold in the corner. Now what I want to be able to do is juggle the acrylic so that we have a nice square free edge. Now it's really important to be able to get the rest of the confetti and mylar into the free edge before we cap it. What I'm going to do is take some of the lemonade and blueberry and get it into the free edge. Just like that. Once we've done that, we're going to take our speed clear and we're going to cap the free edge to create added strength.
We're going to allow this to dry and then we're going to file it into shape. Right, we're going to mold the free edge into the perfect C curve and we're going to begin filing into shape. is perfectly straight. I'm going to use the eye formation to come all the way through. Once we're done filing it into shape, I'm going to lightly refine to make it dead even on the sides, make my lower arches straight, my cuticle clean, flush to the natural nail, lightly sponge the surface. I'm going to now take a swipe. Now we're going to take finish, which apply a nice thin coat from cuticle to free edge. Going to get inside the light. Once the finish shell cures, customer is going to take their hands out of the light to condition the cuticle area with some oil. And as you can see, you get that really killer reflective nature, that jewel tone look on the free edge.